everyone, this is Adam Twilight, this is Hexmania, and welcome back to Danganronpa. <coughs> Where, uh, the fifth trial is over, we nearly, we nearly died. Now we're in a trash pit with Kyoko. <laughs> so work of the mastermind. So all this would mean whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. And that's really bad if true, it means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the cast trial to kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Yeah. You're right, that is a contradiction. And that's not just Mukuro. They need a class trial to kill me, but seem to be ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the ult of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mulkaro is the ultimate despair and that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy, whoever is responsible for that, they're the ultimate despair. That despicable group whose purpose and motivation only comes from despair. Then there, make no mistake. They're the root of all of the evil that has forced us to go through to this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is a real enemy. Okay, now chapter 5 is officially over. Okay. Now we're truly at six, because Mukuro's dead. To be continued right now, because... Dream Island Rocket. So I'd like to save. The Ultimate Despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. The same people that put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. Most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now? Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story can come later. Yeah, you're right. So. It's locked, but we have a way to open this door. Kyoko, open the door! <laughs> Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Hanukuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Mm -hmm. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. A and it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Open the door! Hey, Kyoko, can we use the key of yourself in the store, right? Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it, on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then, click. Yes, it opened! And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the jar garbage pit. Garbage pit. Oh my god. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain. Ultimate suffering. Ultimate despair. Ultimate execution. Ultimate death. Deadly life. <laughs> After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a, tim a chimney. There's a metal, a metal ladder leading up to the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. So, um, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been working, doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I came from, I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was uh, considered a sacred duty. My fa uh, family has always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride? A detective is neither in light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we uncover the absolute truth. 
We stay neutral on all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do, and we do what we can. We do what we must to protect it, because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking for info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However, and yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective could, would never do. For the reason you gave up their pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak. It was because of how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting all the, after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. There's nothing I wanted to talk to my father about. There's something I want to say to him, though. What? No matter what it takes, I have to tell him, find him and tell him face to face. What is it? I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? <laughs> the last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And as young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me, because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name, so every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to read her expression, but I, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that she was, that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? The way that everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past, in order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family, to cut him out just like that. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are you connected by heart and soul? No. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear something, I say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. On the other side of the store, Hope Speak is waiting for us. We're back. Remember that hash in the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain this is where the will come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should be open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand and push up against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Looks like we're back. And I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope Speak Academy. Coco, thank you. I would never would have gotten out of there without you. Nothing's necessary. I was just referring to the same favor. So now what do we do? I'm glad he didn't die, of course, but if the bastard mind finds out. I'm worried about you, too. You helped me, so they might... You're worried? Yeah, of course. Then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed towards the nearby surveillance camera. 
So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. He said something like that before. What does it mean? The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Maguro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm so a little no super uneasy about this, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Monokuma should be in the gym. Let's get going. Okay, to the gym we go. Uh... Hey, 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 hey! Kyoko, I don't mind so much. Oh, Makoto's supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? That's exactly what I thought. how I thought he'd react. Are you really gonna be okay? You're supposed to be punished! Did Kyoko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed in the class trial, they alone will be executed! It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance! K Kyoko. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that not that, that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose? You, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Well, you set up this late class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. I was supposed to be chosen at the black end and then executed, right? H hey, what are you talking about? But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting, because you never imagined in that position one person would protect another like that. And in response to that unexpected development, you reacted by proclaiming Makoto as the black end and trying to execute him. You made that choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid even, uh, aid even after you've killed it. Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. So executing Mak uh, Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. Is that what you told us, right? Hmph, and that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blackened is me, not Makoto? Well, and you can prove this, right? No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is it? Is a comedy routine to make such bold claims without even a shred of evidence? I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I can guarantee I'll find some. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only a Ever one absolute truth. Am I trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so uh, you so love to inspire. But here we are, confronting with you, but with nothing but hope in our hearts. And this must be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence. It's not you I'm trying to convince. If you were to execute Makoto right now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Yeah, he is the main character. If he does die, then a game over, I guess. So, uh... Huh? Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume you killed him because of what we said exac is exactly right. Despair can never kill hope. <sighs> of course, we can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. But you have no other choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn, if you want to earn our, def uh, our despair fair and square, then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? 
City of Mukuro's trial over again. Only this time you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair, tri a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> It's time for one last showdown, one final battle between hope and despair. Well, that wouldn't make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuru's killer, of the Mastermind themselves. Well, what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Barry? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for bear jokes. Now what you've suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Does that mean you accept? If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm pre-bared to agree to your terms. Whether your hope run out or my despair claim victory, you made for this bear joke that I made earlier. And I forget this episode, oh my god. I Let's have one final grizzly showdown! He agreed. I may still have a shot at this. But this is the long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is just is barely a fitting end. So for the final phase off, we've done unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right, every last mystery that's flying around the school, if you can do that. But that'll be enough to qualify you as a victory for you. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay then, well good, let's bury it all. You can claw your way to the truth of Mukuru's death and sell the mysteries of school. Then you win. But if you can't do all of that, we'll face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? More excited as you are, I'm sure. And when we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe that how this has tur all turned out. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. I remember that for sure. So what? I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on school regulations. Having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations. Which would mean whoever killed Mukuro. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough fun. So here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing year began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only person to take a single step in hopes he could since... And the only people to take a single step in hopes peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm done talking. I've got nothing left to see you either though. So get lost, would you? Why so mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just... You really gonna let me go? Oof, I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to get started uh, start by getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. Monokuma's unstable after seems to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. <clears throat> I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. Who knew? I saw that my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out to be way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal, but honestly, why would the master grind agree to that? I mean, don't they stand a chance? Uh, don't they stand to gain anything from a final showdown? They don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? They had no choice but to accept, huh? It's all because of that one moment the mastermind let their guard down, as I said. So when was it that the mastermind let their guard down? I wasn't here to, uh, wasn't there to hear it myself. But do you remember what the mastermind said? 
They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast their school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. What do you think when you heard of that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. You don't, you don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. Makoto, have you ever heard of the head, ma uh, the, ma <coughs> the head max room, <coughs> the max headroom? That's it. <coughs> the max headroom incident, Makoto. We too must don masks and go on TV and hijack the broadcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they, ha some reason they had to do something that difficult. The reason, they had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us, he us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. The mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. While well, the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? To prove a, po a point, most likely. Prove a point? The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? And for those who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove despair is better than hope. That's their goal of the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But, but that's ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The whole group whose only purpose was and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The mastermind has had has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. Now the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all the proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then maybe I to be the killer. But even that didn't work. Yes, thanks to you. And due, that fa uh, and due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had had to accept your suggestion? To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in the perfect form. It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they had violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you're still trying to get Mastermind to accept your challenge? Well, it's only thanks to you we got that chance. But because you believed in me, another path opened up. Uh, we'll see what the path is next time. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you later. Bye!